Welcome, my chingus, to episode 81 of This Week in K-Pop. In this episode, we will talk about BTS, CL, EXID, GOT7, K-Much, Mad Clown and Sunny, Moon Myung Jin, Phantom, PSY, Seventeen and Ailey, Weed, and Yoon Jong Shin. My name is Steven. With me is my normal, normal co-host, Josh. Hello. Uh, and today we have a, a special guest. Not really special, though. I mean, she's not special, but it's special that we have, have a, guest, a guest. Yeah. Right, and that of course is uh, is who are you? Who are you? It's been hey a long guys, time. it's Mina. I'm back. Yeah. Someone's, Yay. Someone say something. Yeah. I look. Yay! Oh. They sound like really heard far that. away. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's a really good thing I have a big head because it, it's going to make you look great. Yeah. yeah. Our heads are just like so Hello. close. Hello. <laughs> we she, we she, never really cared about that before we came me? to Korea, though. Yeah. I mean, I always cared about my big ass head, but, you know. Yeah. I, I try yeah. to fight her for her position to make myself look better, but mm -hmm. she just wasn't having it. Oh, Steven. Um, but uh, anyways, uh, This Week in K-Pop is normally a discussion podcast that covers the last two weeks, or in this case, three weeks of K-Pop music video releases. And each week, Josh and I, in this, in, in this case, all three of us, yep. will pick what we think is the best song of the last three weeks. Mm -hmm. um, and I do want to start by apologizing about uh, delaying yeah. uh, uh, a week, because uh, uh, if, you know, you're not on Twitter, you know, which thousands of you are not on Twitter. It's true. Okay. Uh, well, I mean, you're probably even, on you Twitter. Might not even have a thousand fans, but sure, go on. All right. Well, the, <laughs> the thousand robots that are not following us on Twitter. Uh, I was really, really, really sick last week. Really sick. Um, yeah. And it lasted far too long. Um, but that's why it was delayed a week. Um, so we have an extra, extra big episode. So I thought. Yeah. You know, we invite Mina here, which we haven't heard from for a very long time. Yeah. Um, and I also do want to mention that this is the last regular episode of the year. Yeah. Um, episode 82 is going to be our top 10 songs of 2015. Mm -hmm. um, so we're recording this, what, it's December 5th. Right yeah. now we're recording this. So any song that's released uh, after this, yeah. we will not talk about that song until the January yeah, yeah. episode. Pretty much December is going to be... Yeah. It's chopped out. Um, now, normally, it's usually just winter songs and ballads, ballads um, and kind of throwaway songs. But, yeah. you know, if a good song gets released, we will talk about it. Just yeah. not in episode 82. We'll talk about it. Episode 83. 83. Yeah. But uh, we do love that episode. It's our favorite, yeah. favorite episode. Easily of the our year. favorite episode of the year. Yeah. I love it because Mina's not there. Yeah. God, why are, you, why are you. Why did we ask you here? I know. Oh, God. I'm leaving. Bye. Um, but anyways, let's get right to it. Yeah. Um, let's start with Josh's favorite song last two weeks. You what first. is that, Josh? So, uh, it's actually uh, the last three weeks, but, you know, I'm glad that we kind of extended it one week, not because Steven needed the rest, uh, because I feel like a lot of good songs came out in the last week um, that would kind of chop this podcast in two, and we would have had like kind of two pretty good weeks, but now we have one, I think, really good week. Uh, so my favorite song of the last episode is Seventeen with featuring Ailey, Q and A. Yeah. Just stop acting like you didn't hear me or Yo, so I don't ever turn and don't mind and don't matter to the day, girl. I know what's up on your mind, stop for in it, tell me. I, I, I want, yo, baby, I, I, I want, yo, baby, I, I, I want, yo. Nutter doll, it then I got me singing, uh, question and answer. Now, 
17. This is the third song. Yeah, that was kind of a weird introduction. It was a little weird. Uh, 17, yeah, yes. They had not none say. This is their third release. Their uh, debut song was Adore You. Great yeah. song. Great song. Um, and this is the third song that I feel like we all we can all agree that it's, it's a solid release. It's a really, really I don't know. Can Mina agree? I don't know. Well, I, I like it because I'm my girl Ailey. Um, oh, you like it for the Ailey? I like it for, like the, for the Ailey. A's? But okay, well, it's been a long time. How did you feel about Ailey's solo songs that were released? Yeah. Because we did not think they were particularly great. Yeah, my right. business. My yeah. business. But if you call it your girl Ailey. Yeah, you yeah. gotta say something. Because well, I, I would say she's our girl Ailey too, but we don't like everything we should do. Yeah, I don't like everything that she okay. releases too. I Personally, I like her ballads. Okay. Okay. So did you like? I, like I cause I liked her. What was the song called? Uh, Idi Idiot? No. What's the more ballady one? That was like a one shot. She was in a room dancing with a guy. Oh. Insane. Insane. Insane was the I more ballady insane. one. Yeah. Like that song. I I, I it mm -hmm. is okay. I don't even remember what the the title track one is called. Cause I never uh, listened to it ever again. Or ni no no chare, or something like that. Like okay. mind, mind, mind your drum. business. Yeah. Oh, mind your. Yeah. Mind <clears throat> your business. But you didn't really. I really like okay. that. Okay. Huh. Well, anyways, why did you like this song by Seventeen? But it's not really Seventeen. Yeah. Um, uh, so Seventeen is, I think, thirteen members. We said thirteen or fourteen. We keep getting it mixed up. But uh, Seventeen, they kind of have their own kind of subdivisions, even though they don't have like special names. But. There's three guys in this uh, music video, and they're, I guess, a part of the vocal like line. And it is just everything I want from like a K-pop song and music video. I, I really, really like it. Um, it's really catchy for one. It has a lot of uh, character, and it has a lot of like really catchy, subtle kind of production, like tidbits stuck in there. And they sing well as well, and the rapping is very good. Um, I just, it's just a really, really, really good song. I just don't know how else I can explain it. You just have to listen to it. Yeah, I mean, I, uh, if Josh didn't pick this song, I would have picked this song. Yeah. I mean, like, I really, really, I mean, I've loved everything Seventeen has done. Yeah. I adore yeah. you. I, I thought it was really good. Manse, like, grew the fuck, like, it, that grew, grew on me like crazy. That was um, an exploding mushroom song. Yeah. And, I mean, this is not like, I wouldn't say it sounds like any of those other songs, right? No. But, like... Uh, it brings along the character that is why yeah. I, we liked the Seventeen uh, yeah. music videos, at least in the past. Yeah. Um, I think it's, you know... It's fun. That's what it is. Yeah. yeah. It, it's fun. The rapping sounds great, oddly enough. It sounds yeah. like it fits the song really well, at least for me. Yeah. Um, and, you know, Vernon... You know, I, I saw him on Show Me The Money, and mm -hmm. like he, he was like, man, in Show Me The Money, but he matches this type of song, I think, yeah. very well. Yeah. Um, and I mean, Ailey is fantastic. So yeah. besides Ailey, did you like anything else, Mina? Of the about song? The song? Yeah. I thought it was really cute. Yeah. Yeah, because it's like all about like uh, asking questions about like girl, guys having girl problems. Yeah. And I don't like, have no girl problems. It's like, well, it's bad for yourself. I got no girl. I got 99 problems. But a girl ain't one of them. But a bitch ain't one. Oh, ouch. Ouch. This ain't, this ain't, this ain't the censored not, version of I. I ain't call you a bitch. Don't make that sour face at me. How could you do that, man? But you're calling all girls bitches. No, I say all <laughs> bitches. Uh, I'm not calling. Oh, Jay-Z's calling. Jay-Z, yeah. But yeah, let's it's talk Jay Z, about, right? Yeah. Okay, I, I thought I was crazy for. All right, let's talk about the music video. So the music video, like Mina kind of was talking about, is I think just super clever. Well, not super clever, but it's quite clever. Yeah. And uh, the way they kind of just set everything up, the props, the details, were very, very well done. Um, so as Mina was saying, it's kind of like these three guys, and they are like studying for a test, but the test isn't like just any normal test. It's like a test about like women right like what's the right thing to say yeah what's the correct to answer yeah, to, yeah. A, to a girl question yeah so, one of those trap ass motherfucking yeah, girl yeah. questions so there's a lot of things that uh if people don't really understand korean very well they can still watch the video and get a lot from it <laughs> and kind of get the general idea but if you understand korean there's just so many like small details in there where it's like oh what to say if your girlfriend is like not saying anything mm -hmm. or it's just like 
you know, just really, really small things that if you watch, it's it's really, really, really well done. And the props, they had to make those, I'm sure, because yeah. you know it still looks like that. And everything looks like a normal Korean test, yeah. right? And yeah. and it's set up like they're studying and, and there's all sorts of like Korean kind of like, oh, I, I study so much, I have a bloody nose. nose. Yeah. Or, you know, I study, I'm study i studying in the little tiny cubicle thing yeah. that, that we all got to study in. Yeah. Or I'm reading these books that we yeah. have to buy for our hagwons or whatever. Yeah. And, and it's just overall like, it, I think it could have been very throwaway, random images. Yeah. Like we've seen many music videos with just random ass images, but like they did a really good job of like mm -hmm. tying it all together. Yeah. Not only as a concept of a music video, but also into the song. Yeah. Because I, I think a lot of, you know, a lot of videos have a theme. Mm. It's not always tied very well with the actual song. And sometimes um, it just, it's a totally different, you know. Yeah. Like maybe the song's like a sad song, but then the concept's happy and it's like weird. <clears throat> Um, you know, uh, but uh, this one is just kind of like overall like yeah. it's I think it's a great I mean, of course, Ailey does her Ailey thing is yeah. she's not in the music video. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, but uh, I think the uh, uh, There's not that many I think whole packages that yeah. we've we've seen in, in a while. Yeah, this is this is not only a must listen This is also a must watch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and plus if you think you know, Vernon's a sexy ass motherfucker. Which I do. Which he does. Dude is handsome, man. Dude is he needs to. Handsome. They they love to put lipstick on him, and, and not like the normal K-pop lipstick, but like blatant ass, blatant lip, pink yeah. ass lipstick. Like and it's tint, like tint, like straight tint. Yeah, but it's just like the bottom one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but he's a good looking dude, I guess. Does it make you want to kiss it? I never really understood why they did that. Like, no. I get eyeshadow. I mean, make sure eyes are better, yeah, right? Like contouring. Uh -huh. Yeah, but like. They gave him some pink, like hot pink, EXID looking yeah. lipstick. Pink like, hot lipstick. Pink. Pink hot. Pink. Yeah. Hot. Um, all right. Well, let's move on to my favorite song. Um, I probably I do like the Seventeen song. I think yeah. a little bit more than the one that I'll pick, but I also really like the song. Yeah. Um, and I think Josh also really likes I this, really song. Love this song. And I think Mina. I was kind of so so. So so. So, why so, we get, so. why do we have you here? Why? So so. Because I have to be the other. It's true. She brings a whole perspective. She brings yeah. diversity. Yeah. <laughs> the diversity. diversity. Um, all right. Well, my song is uh, by a group called Phantom, um, and it's called uh, "Could You Be Mine." I got a thing to tell you, and this is my confession, Phantom. Do me a favor, could you be mine? This ain't no question, that's a banana. Hey, pretty young thing, not that girl, yeah. All even die, I'm saying I'm gay, but I. Some pass up the boat, the money got the watch, then the lanny girl. Stephen Hawke is shot him young, who is sadang and they are molden girl. Not too much, my bow touch, would you want a much? No, let's not go to the New York Sante, go to the New York Sante, go to the New York Sante. Go to the New York Sante, 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 go Hey, pretty young thing, not my girl, yeah. Okay. 어디든 가, no way. 평생은 gay, 고파. 내게 확신을 줘, 내게 확신을 줘, 내게 확신을 줘, 내게 확신을 줘, 내게 확신을 줘. 니 대답 못해. 내게 확신을 줘, 내게 확신을 줘, 그래 확신을 줘. 내게 확신을 줘, 너의 확신을 줘. Hey, hey. 너 내게 다가와, 물었어 무엇을 원해. Hey. You say no, Sarang Bana eat a head. Uh huh. Good as a Bana goes eggs, okay? That's right. Any Bana go money, okay? No, none Sarang eat Peter Way. Okay, now Phantom, of course, is a trio. Uh, the leader of Quit. Actually, I don't even know who's the leader, but the main face is the Dirty Sanchez. Um, the dirty, 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 the most dirty, handsomest dirty, motherfucker dirty, in he all, the dirty Sanchez. all of He's Korea. The dirty, dirty. <laughs> All right, coming down. Bang, bang, bang. Call it coming down. <laughs> That's like that. Is that the bang, bang, bang? Bang, bang, bang. All right. Um, but uh, Phantom, I've always really liked. <laughs> I've always really liked Phantom. Um, and in this song, actually, Sanchez, who's normally a singer, and he's yeah. got a very distinct 
style of singing. Very high, um, falsetto. very high, very smooth, very Michael Jackson y.、Mm -hmm. um, but he doesn't、uh, sing in this song. He、no. actually raps. He, he actually specifically calls himself San Cheesy,、yeah. which I think is his rap, <laughs> quote unquote, rap handle. Um, but he raps yeah, dang, well, pretty damn yeah, well, I think. Yeah. yeah, we were like, Sanchez rapping, I don't know.、Oh, yeah. Okay.、Well, like, it's not like he ain't going hard, like, you know, like a Jay Park would、yeah. or like, you know, a, a, a Vosco or a Bobby would, right? But he, he kind of. K pop. He matches the song. He、though. matches the rock. Like、yeah. the K R B type rapping where、yeah. it doesn't have to be that amazing, but it just has to fit the song. And I think he does an amazing job fitting the song.、Mm -hmm. Um, And I think two of the three members do a pretty dang good yeah, job. Yeah.、Uh, the third member does, is a little. He, he's a good rapper, but he doesn't fit the song, I think.、Mm -hmm. He kind of mumbly, mumbles a lot, and、yeah. his voice a little, doesn't really match the, the, the song.、Yeah. But his part's relatively short.、Yeah. Um, and I just, the chorus is really good.、Yeah. Um, and, Don't you guys find it weird about Sanchez, though? Like his singing and talking voice is just so different. Yeah.、Mm -hmm. Yeah.、Right? I mean, I think. He could sing in a normal voice if he wants to.、Yeah. But, like, not many people can sing in that octave,、okay, right?、Yeah. So, like, might as might well. As well、yeah. Maybe.、Um, but, no, I think there are some people that, like,、uh, have really high, amazing singing voices, and then you talk to them like normal. And it's, it's just like, whoa. I'm、yeah. trying to think of who. Like, give in me an example. Or Any or opera in, singer? In, or, yeah, in, in K pop. I don't know like, about K pop. Who has a different voice? I, I, I'm thinking like Zion T doesn't sound like that normally. I、yeah. feel like. I think Zion T is probably just like. Well, I don't even know he if he even like, talks.、Uh, so、he's like, <laughs> how are you? He doesn't scat talk, you know? What's like, up, my friends? <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, I don't really know. <laughs> <laughs> But, you know, that, that happens. You know, I think singing you know, is just a、yeah. whole different you know, thing than what your actual、mm -hmm. voice is, you know?、Yeah. Um, on a random side note, it's like sometimes, like, When Korean people speak English, a lot of、mm -hmm. times it's a very different voice than their Korean voice. No, that's, that's very. Actually,、But、I, I had, hear that a lot. I had a conversation with my co teacher about this, like maybe last week,、um, that he, he studied like, that kind of speech pathology in、mm -hmm. college. And he was saying、uh, if you speak multiple languages, you have multiple personalities. Because、mm -hmm. uh, each language has, has its own, own personality.、Ah. Yeah. And it has its own like, kind of style, like、uh, the way you formulate sentences or、mm -hmm. the, your word choice. So it kind of like, dictates the parts about your personality.、Yeah. So. And how comfortable you are. Like,、yeah. A lot of people, when they speak English, they have to speak slowly and、yeah. they have to enunciate and they have、yeah. to take. But when they speak Korean, and then it's just like, blah, blah, blah and a、Machine、different voice、it. comes、yeah. out, you know?、Yeah. Um, but,、uh, anyways, I, I really like this song. Like, I think.、Um, You know, Phantom is very underrated. You know, I, I think some people are like in、yeah. the know, but I, I think a lot of people don't really know. Phantom's got some pretty good songs, I think. Yeah.、Um, and, and I think a lot of people, they would have never heard of Phantom unless we've talked about them, to be honest. It's been a while. Phantom is like not popular really in Korea, to be honest.、Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like Sanchez kind of is out there, but even still, like he's kind of like verbal gin. At like, best, he's like a featuring, like. You know, not even、yeah. like Bumkey level, right?、Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Yeah, I was going to say he was like Verbal Jen's、uh, like、uh, sidekick. Sidekick. Yeah, like sidekick, sidekick. Verbal Jen's、yeah. like, I'll, I'll make your track, but I'm going to bring my buddy <laughs> Dirty Sanchez, you know, with me. <laughs> he's like, oh, is his name Dirty Sanchez? <laughs> <laughs> no, he's going to rap this time. His, his name is Dirty Sanchez. It's、he's、Dirty Sanchez. Oh, that's worse. <laughs> <laughs> that dirty Sanchez. But、uh, anyway, speaking of rapping,、uh, maybe you should, uh, uh, you like rap. Do you、yeah. like rap, Josh? I love rap. Do Josh, you、like、love, do you like rap? Yes. She doesn't really know what we're doing right now. <laughs> I but I <laughs> we're trying to transition.、Uh, speak,、uh, speaking of rap, there's this show. I'm sure you've heard of this show. It's called Unpretty Rap Star 2. What? What? Do you watch Unpretty Rap Star 2? All right, you're making it too handy. Come on, guys. Come on. <laughs> I'm trying to, be, trying to be professional here.、Oh, what? What? Uh, but for real, have you watched Unpretty Rap Star 2? I watched a few of the episodes, but like, it was, I wasn't really. It wasn't really, your thing? Yeah. yeah. Did you watch Unpretty Rap Star 1? A little bit of it. Also a little bit.、Yeah. Um, but, anyways, Unpretty Rap Star, we've talked about it a、mm -hmm. lot before. Plenty、um, of times. But、uh, times. Drama Fever has finally, finally, finally officially subbed Unpretty Rap Star yep. 2. Yep.、Um, yep. In the past, we've kind of relied on fan translators.、Yep. And while they did an amazing job,、yeah. uh, they, a lot of times they were. Not always consistent. They weren't very、yeah. consistent. And of course, Drama Fever is consistent. 
And you can watch the entire season of Unpre Rap Star 2. And who's in Run Pre Rap Star 2? I mean, you got freaking Wonder Girls, you been. You got. Who likes her? Who likes her? It's just I have a cat named after her, right? <laughs> right. Um, right. Yeah, Steven. of course. Right. You know what I'm saying? Who likes her? I'm oh, sorry, go on. <laughs> you got uh, Hyorin. Speaking of uh, singers that also rap, right? Mm -hmm. Hyorin is not. She didn't change her name to Hyorizi or whatever, yeah. but. <laughs> Hyorizi. Hyorizi. <laughs> Hyorizi. <laughs> Um, Hyorin from Sistar is uh, is also in it. Yeah. In, in addition to Jian from Four Minute, mm -hmm. uh, Yezi from Fiesta has been like uh, uh, the bright light in, in the show. Um, and of course, maybe you're into the underground scene, you want to see some underground rappers. You know, there's Kitty B, there's Trudy, there's Casper, mm -hmm. there's Hazy, there's all these girls. It's an all girl rap competition survival show. Yeah, if that if that kind of grabs your ear, what yeah. K-pop female rapping? Show? Yeah. Think just picture kind of MTV kind of style, <laughs> yeah. like like show. We we ain't talking like K-pop style. We ain't talking American Idol. We talking MTV. But if you like that kind of stuff, which I do, I I, I do love that kind of stuff. You should go to uh, Drama Fever dfvr.co slash twick unpretty. If you click that link, you get to watch the first episode. Um, and then it, it tells Drama Fever that you heard it about it from us. Yeah, we sent you over there. You yeah. are Chingus. And you can watch all of their stuff um, for free. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, you can also pay some money to watch it without ads and, of course, in HD. Drama Fever um, Premium. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, again, we want to thank Drama Fever. The link will be in the description. Please click the link. Maybe you, you don't even need to watch it. Just click, click the link. Maybe watch, like, a second and then you'll be hooked. Yeah. Give it a shot. Give it a shot. That's on Pretty Rap Star 2, Drama Fever. Oh, that was so hammy. <laughs> Give it a shot. She was like, <laughs> Give it a shot. Give it a shot. <laughs> all right, let's move on to Mina's favorite song. You heard Josh, you heard me. Yep. Let's think of all the songs this week. All the good songs that we All the great, amazing about. songs. Which song did Mina pick? Go I me. chose God Seven's Confession Song. So pick my song, go hand your gum, then go back. Chasing on me, I'm the national, I just go back. Pantish, you go back, and the mama, I'm a moo in the end. The episode is so I'm the night, I go get. Nothing to do, I'm a little bit of a child. 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 Song. Because it's such a like joyful song. Like I really like um, the tune it was sung in, and it's really catchy. Mm -hmm. The chorus is really catchy. It is catchy. I mm -hmm. agree with you. Um, I really for I for some reason I really like Jackson's style of rapping. Very nonchalant. Yeah, 
I don't know why, but he's so cute. Anyways, besides her, that, but I, know, I know people that, like Jackson, but I don't even know what his style is. Like, I don't think I've ever heard a God Seven song and been like, "Damn that uh, is Jackson." In God Seven, just right, you know what he's like. That's kind of his. That's his kind of style. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. It's very kind of like oh, I'm just here. My name is Jackson. Yeah. Like, I mean, I have heard <laughs> that like I mean he's very like clear that he like he's not really a rapper, right? He yeah. just he's. He, Actually, okay, this is a, this is totally a side note, but like, this is dumb. Uh -huh. I think everyone knew this but me, okay? Mm -hmm. But like, I was always like, you know, why does Korea always have one rap, r one rapper? Why do they have a rapping part in every one of their songs the last 10 years, right? Mm -hmm. It's like, what, who started that? Why is there a rap, yeah. right? And then I realized <laughs> the only reason there's a rap part is because they needed that person in the group because they were cute, but they couldn't sing, so they were like, "How the fuck can we get this person in the group? Yeah. Let's make him rap." Yeah. Like I never, I never, it's they never clicked rapping, in my though. head until now. I was like, "Why does every song have a rap?" And it's like, "Oh yeah, because without that, like, the cute dude is probably not in that group anymore, right?" Like, I mean, it could also apply to the, like girl groups as well. No, I think it applies for every group. Yeah. yeah, like without that, like. Like Bora probably wouldn't have been in, in, in any group, right? Yeah. Or without, you know. I mean, cute. a lot. A lot of Korean people will say like Bora can't really sing. She's not that great of a dancer. She's not yeah. too pretty. And I was like, She's not too pretty. Yeah, I was like, mm. that's true though. Like, I would say <laughs> she can't I would rap. Say that about Dawson. But see, yeah. Korean people love Dawson. Yeah, they they love that giraffe. Yeah, uh. and I'm like <laughs> Bora though, and they're like, eh. she's like third. They're fourth. like so you though, and it's like, eh. <laughs> But so you now though. Yeah. True. She really <laughs> she you hit now, that gym. Though. She working on that fitness. Or hit that surgery clinic. I'm not entirely sure. I don't think she's got anything done. I think something in her face was I done. I mean, most. I mean, I'm pretty sure they most, got something tweaked. But most K-pop celebrities have had something done. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I for the record, I don't care. Like mm -hmm. I don't like. There's plastic surgery that's that's really awesome and I love it. And there's plastic surgery that's. Gross God awful, God off, right? The like, same, there's nothing know. wrong inherently with plastic surgery. They're just wrong with either too much or the wrong thing or you don't fucked up your face. Yeah. Which happens. Just just demolish it and just start again. Side note. Got seven. Yes. So, <laughs> well, um, and I also think it was a really good timing to release this during Christmas. But one of the sad things is that, like, I'm only going to listen to this during Christmas. Like, mm -hmm. I'm not going to listen oh. to it, like... you got to be in the mood in for it, right? Yeah. And, and Christmas is a great time for this time. Yeah. So, yeah. so I guess this this would fall into the christmas -y category where I will only listen to it during Christmas. Because I have, mm -hmm. like, a whole, like, folder where it's just like, okay, this is Christmas season. Mm -hmm. Listen to this song. Or listen to this one. Yeah, I kind of equate this song. Like, I also like this song, but not as... It's not like top, not even top five, I think, in terms of this week. But I kind of equate it to like Michael Bublé's Christmas songs that aren't like Boobs. classics, you know? Like, I like those songs, but I'm only going to listen to them during Christmas. I really like Michael Bublé, but I'm only going to listen to those songs during Christmas, you know? Do you know Michael Bublé like was like, Sai ain't fucking a yeah. real artist. Fuck that motherfucker. Wow. Fuck that like chinga. Three wow. shaded at Sai. Yeah. Really? And then he everyone else, like, yeah, he didn't he like... like Daddy. Daddy. He was like, yes. like, I can't believe this is real music or something like yeah, that. Yeah, but then his son, his son likes side. Uh, or something like that. I mean, that's what happened. Interesting that you brought up the boobs, because it, yeah. it all matches. I actually did not know that. Yeah. Did he say it on like a show or something? Or? Apparently. On a show, I think? Yeah. yeah mm -hmm. It was like a, some Like late show. night talk show or something? I don't, I don't I, know. I don't I know exactly where I was. I want to say it was saying. like a morning show. Mm. It does sound like a morning show thing. Like, yeah. like you, you kind of think nobody's really listening and uh -huh. you're kind of just saying whatever you want to say. Um, but then the internet's. I mean, I, I think like that's a perfectly fine opinion. Mm -hmm. yeah. If you're not Mike, the Michael Buble. He doesn't yeah. fucking make, Michael he's Buble not Beethoven. Is not, right? Michael Buble is not negativity, right? Like, mm -hmm. But it's you, also, his his songs are also just as generic yeah. and meh as size are to some people right like yeah. like if he was like a genuine artist quote unquote like maybe i know he thinks he is and that's why he said this right he like i can't believe this trash edm like he probably pressed two buttons and made this song yeah. is popular like that's kind of where i feel like he's coming from yeah. but like he's just the same but he makes ballady puffy songs frank sinatra type songs yeah, yeah.
Anyways, uh, yeah. I I, th I think this uh, this the music video. While the music video is very like hammy and very cheesy, mm -hmm. I thought the music video did match very well with like like yeah. it could have been this music video could have just been generic guy face close ups shots, of face shots. We're Christmas all wearing scene, sweaters and we're kind of cold and we're holding sweaters. Like it could have yeah. been a boyfriend music video, right? Yeah. But like they try to change it up at yeah. least. To you know, be like actual confessions of these yeah. students that probably weren't actually real, yeah, but it was staged. It was kind of cute, and, and 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 they tried to do it decently well. I think yeah. it would have been cooler if it was like hitting camera real, real. Yeah, but, then but you that would have been like one shot at it, yeah. you know. Like... Yeah, but that would have been cool. Yeah. Um, but you know, they chose for like the in between where it's like. Maybe it was real the first time, but yeah. then they were like, "We gotta go again," and we got me. Yeah. One more time. We gotta go again. Yeah. Um, but uh, no, I, this is like the Got Seven that I kind of I enjoy, right? Like yeah. they're having fun. You see them having fun in the video, kind of messing around. Yeah. Um, I I still don't understand the their last song, um, uh. but that song's really popular in Korea now. A, a lot of Koreans are knowing uh, yeah. know about actually Got Seven instead of just Jackson. Yeah. Um, and it makes me sad that it was, a what's that bit. song called? If you, if you do, if you do, like, yeah. it's sad that it, w it wasn't just right or it wasn't a, but it oh, was, a. but it was, it was a. this 2 PM, a. like, but I think we said it in the past podcast, like it makes sense, right? Like this is the most generic song that they've ever released. And guess what? It's also yeah. popular because yeah. people like generic stuff. Yeah. And when we say generic, we don't mean like necessarily boring or unenjoyable we just mean that it's been done yeah many times before and yeah yeah but uh yeah. all right that'll be it for part one those were one of uh, each of our favorite songs i hope you guys give that a chance um in part two we're gonna talk about uh some songs that i picked um uh, uh part three is gonna be mina yeah. and part four is going to be josh so hope you continue watching if you're on youtube and if you're on uh, itunes <laughs> And you're a robot. Uh, you're. This is all one part. So thank your master thank you. for signing up for you and <laughs> <laughs> well, whatever. Uh, however you found us, thank you. Yeah. Um, thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, bestie. <laughs> I thought you were gonna do it with me, but it, it was it just me. me. I, I, I like, wanted what? to hear what? you do it. You know. Like, you know. For like. I'm telling. I'm talking like four months after that song, yeah. like was released. There were like seven girls in my school that yeah. would just go around and just to random kids be like, "Thank you very much." Ow! And they would just do that. And I'm like, "Bestie!" And they're like, "Yeah!" And I'm like, "I can't believe people Did know this song." We just become friends. Yeah. I can't believe this song. Um, no, because I was like, uh, "Love options." They're like, "What?" And I'm like, oh, oh, okay. man. "It's because love options is the English uh, title probably, of it." Yeah. Um, also, I don't really, uh, uh, you know, I don't really actually talk to my students that much about um, personal stuff. I just, it's like a thing, like, I think it's because I was a teacher at home, like, I just don't like, 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 even League of Legends, which I really like, mm -hmm. and I play a lot mm -hmm. of, I don't like talking to the students about League of Legends. Hmm, that's but I, like, I think it's like, um... Like, it, it lets them get closer to you, but because I'm not their real teacher, it also lowers the amount of respect, like, in the teacher sense. Uh, uh, that's just my personal opinion. Mm -hmm. um, like, I know some people can can kind of uh, deal with both things, but, like, um, even in America, I would try not to, like, like, if they're talking about Call of Duty or they're talking yeah. about Halo, I'm, like, You want to be the class, teacher, you don't want to be the friend. Yeah, I want to be their teacher, not the friend, because... At the age that I was teaching, they can't really differentiate the two. Like yeah. once you become their friend, they don't know the they don't yet. know the boundaries yeah. very well, and so I've just learned to not do that. Um, but slowly throughout the years at, that I've been here, I've been more open and yeah. more like I talk to them more about K-pop and talk to them more about League of Legends and and like you know, it, it's nice and it's different here because we don't teach them every day and, and yeah. blah, blah blah blah. But um, I I'm always been very guarded about that stuff. I, I realize that sometimes we're like. Mm. I'm like, I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. And I can talk 20 yeah. minutes about this, but, but I'm, I'm not going to yeah. because this is I, either not the time for it or, um, you know, yeah. I want you to think of me more adult-like. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Well, that was a quick after show in the middle of this. Uh -huh. um, I don't even know how I'm going to cut that into the thing, but let's go yeah. to part two. <laughs> and part two is my, I, I don't want to say all of these songs that I like. These yeah. are just 
some songs I really like, some songs I just want to talk about, yeah. and this is my section to do so. Welcome to the After Show Show for episode 80. If this is your first time tuning in, this is not the main episode. This is the After Show where you think about it twice and we talk about random topics of interest. Today, we will do our normal flashback segment where we look at songs from six months ago and we are gonna introduce a new segment we call Dumpster Diving where we go to the trashiest K-pop sites and talk about the rumors and so-called news items. 